So as you guys probably know from the title of this video, Isu Gen 3 has dropped, and this video is going to be a review slash showcase over Isu Gen 3, and I'm going to tell you whether it's worth getting and grinding for. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and let's go right to the video, guys. All right, so this is going to be the Isu Gen 3 showcase right here. So this is Form 1. So Form 1 is obviously going to be the worst one. There's nothing really special about it. As you can see from the M1s, it's just the basic M1s. They do barely any, you know, extra damage and stuff like that. There's not much to it. There is no throwable spec of it. The actual weapon spec... I would say the web spec is fine, but it's obviously not the greatest in the world. And then the Z spec is just a, you know, a 50k damage burst. Now, none of these moves block break, so just keep that in mind when you're using this. And I do actually think the first mode is obviously the weakest, but I mean, that's to be expected from, you know, the first mode of a Gen 3 Tailed Beast. So the first mode generally isn't really that good. I would have, I would recommend grinding past it because it's funny because the second stage is actually better than the third stage, in my opinion. Now, the reason for this is because even though, you know, the M1s are the exact same from stage two to three, the actual weapon spec of it is the throwable of the third move and the reason why it's actually better is because it's instant there's no delay to it which means you can combo extend with it better and also the throwable spec in, in my opinion is better than the weapon spec of the second one even though it doesn't do as much damage the knockback is a type of combo extender and it you know that's generally going to be good now the z spec is going to be the exact same as all the other gen 3s it's just the lightning beam i'd recommend not using the z spec of any of the first three stages generally they're really not that good and obviously you do have the uh, arms here with the block now the third stage which in my opinion is actually inferior to the second stage so i'll show you why now so the throwable as you can see you're on the tail beast now there is a slight bit of delay which means you cannot it, well you can combo extend with it but it's a lot harder to combo extend with also the stun is longer but also think that being on the ground is better it makes it easier to combo extend with this and stuff like that as you can see the m1s are the exact same you just do a little bit more damage because your stats are higher now the weapon spec is actually worse than the throwable of the second mode in my opinion it's going to be a move where you basically become a bold you dash around it makes tsunami waves on the ground it really doesn't do that much damage it can be useful for rpg pvp mainly because you can just fly around the map and you can hit a bunch of people so i think that'll be the strong suit of it it's kind of for team fights and then the z spec of it is obviously not going to be that good either it's just the second stage z spec but it does more damage so as you can see with the stage two you can actually combo extend with it a lot better so you could do, so you could do the full m1 combo with the knockback you go into this and then you could actually do two m1 combos before they're actually out of the stun and then you can hit it with the weapon spec that's just a generally a good combo for you with the third mode you could kind of do the same exact thing but there's a little bit of delay so it, there it's actually a lot easier for them to get out like so let's 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 just do a time test real quick right with the second stage of the first the third stage second stage is about 0.2 seconds of in of, of downtime and then let's go into stage three right here so boom stage three let's do the downtime right so you have to you have to count how long it takes to get to them and i'm, I'm oh they added crawling to the game look oh I, I don't know what button i pressed but i started crawling so look at this so it may not seem like that much of a difference, but like it's a 0 0.1, 0 0.2 second difference. And the the distance for being higher up actually makes the delay a lot more than it would be otherwise. Now, it's honestly up to you whether you like stage two or three better. But in my opinion, I do think stage two is better. And obviously stage four is going to be the best. So let's get right to the stage four. Have you ever gotten 80 spin rarity and gotten something like just atomic? Well, that's because you haven't hit the like button on this video yet. If you hit the like button on this video, you're guaranteed to get 10 million times times luck 100 percent all right so obviously with stage four right here you got, your mode does obviously look a lot better you do have the really cool tail effect that you would normally get from stage four as all the other ones do obviously it does have the raised block that the all all of the other gen threes actually have in the final mode it does have a raised block now it actually is a lot higher up than it is for the actual you know the actual model you're actually sitting basically on top of his back that's the best way to say it you're like floating a little bit above his back it's higher than maru but it's not nearly as high as of Paul, so that's something to know. And then obviously the M1s are buffed M1s. There's not really anything special about them. They just, you know, kind of are the same exact M1s that all the other Gen 3s have. All right, so the E spec is a counter move. So when you trigger the E spec um, and they actually hit you, it actually will be a move that it, it'll hit them back. It does around 75,000 damage with stats and the mode. It, it doesn't do, you know, in a significant amount of damage, but it, it is obviously a counter move. The fact it has a counter attached to a mode is already pretty good. And then you know in general that's going to be good since it's a throwable spec it won't really counteract with anything i do think the fact that it has a counter does make it quite good in general just because it, having another iframe reader kit will actually make your kit a lot better overall now the q 
spec of this does absurd amount of damage. It does like 130, 120,000 damage. It does a lot of damage. It's a pretty good combo extending move. I would say it's much better than a... Imagine Maru's weapon spec, but like twice as good. That's just generally what it is. So I do actually think the weapon spec is the strongest one of this actual, you know, uh, this uh, final mode of the Gen 3. The raised block is obviously really good. Having the buff down once is really good. The stats are insanely good. But the weapon spec does so much damage. It's really easy to integrate into combo. And overall, it's just a really good move to throw into your kit. The reason why I actually think this is so good is because it's just so easy to integrate into your kit. There's not much delay to it. You pretty much M1 combo someone into this weapon spec. I just think that's generally going to be a really good ability. It's something to definitely look out for if you're fighting anyone and using this. Because if you get hit by this, you're basically getting to the point where you immediately have to perfect block. So if someone throws this into their move, like into their move set at the last possible chance, you might be taking a lot more damage than you would think. Now, the Z spec is a lot like the other Z specs. You, you hop on your tailed beast you shoot a bunch of bombs at them but the main difference is that the z spec afterwards actually does a roll effect that's actually a lot different from the other ones the roll effect it does allow it to combo extend more efficiently it also does a little bit more damage than the other ones if i'm not mistaken sorry about the honking that's maddox if you guys have met him already in general i actually do think the gen this gen 3 is definitely the best gen 3 right now just because the actual web spec does so much damage it has place locks in the second and third that are better than a pause and and it's just really a good a good mode in general for you Z. By the way, guys, what has been your favorite Gen 3 in Shinder Life? If you want to have gods below, we'll be checking them out. All right, so we're going to be doing a Tailed Beast fight right here. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to we're just gonna do the Tailed Beast fight. He's using a Gen 2 because he doesn't have Gen 3, or I would let him use the other one. All right, so I can see how this is going. He he instantly canceled it by jumping, <laughs> hitting him with the, the weapon spec. Boom. Missed it? Okay. Yeah, like, like, he, like I said, the delay is kind of hard to use the actual, uh, not the throw, not the web spec, the throwable with. Wait, dude, I didn't realize those balls did a 12,000 damage and he used gingerbread. Um, yeah, that's not allowed, my guy. No gingerbread. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it to stage two right in front of his face just because, you know, why not? It is better. <laughs> what is this guy doing? He's like looking at the ground. All right, let me see if I can actually get to him. I'm actually getting slammed. All right, boom. Hit him with that. Let's do a full M1 combo on him. Another full M1 combo because the stun lasts long enough. And then we're going to switch back into stage three so I have iframes. <laughs> this guy just watching me go into the next stage. He's getting M1 to death, man. Get beamed, nerd. He's probably going to block a perfect block. I'm pretty sure. Oh, he can't. And he's dead. Yeah, I mean, stage three, obviously, it's a pretty good PvP mode. Generally, people don't really do it like this. They just throw it with... It. They, th they add other things into the mix, generally. But in the end of things, it actually is a pretty good mode. All right, so I decided to go into a public server with the new uh, the new actual tailed spirit because I want to see how this actually goes. Now, I do have strange mode. I don't think I'm going to use it. I'm just going to be using the Z, Z mode just because I actually want to be able to see just how good this mode actually is in PvP in general because I do actually think this is where it'll excel. So we do actually have people here let me get him with the beam hit him with a stun a little bit of this okay so that is actually on the stun global cooldown so that's something to be uh, to know oh he got stunned again get him don't let him get away don't let the tentails get away oh i actually i just killed him yo ripperonis my guy rip we got someone else over here trying to fight nope not today my guy yeah what are you gonna do you're gonna beam i got a beam too I got a beam too. I got a I got a throwable. Stop running, nerd. Oh wow, he's he actually bypassed my Bruce Stomp. I've never seen that before. Use the throw use the weapon. Oh, I'm getting double teamed right now. Are you serious, man? Alright, it's time. This the the he the user came back. Nope. Not today, nerd. What are you gonna do, huh? Just gonna keep spamming block. Block will save me. Boom. Hit him with a little bit of this. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna charge my chi in this dude's face. Juked! Go! No! He ran out of mode. Well, he ran out of mode, so he's running away. I'd say that was successful. <laughs> yeah, the mode's actually pretty good for RPG PvP, it seems. I bet the Tent to see on mode is actually going to be better. Anyways, guys, that's me for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like, subscribe, hope to see you guys. Bye-bye.